Hawkeye. Brian, I saw the first two episodes. I definitely felt like I was back at Marvel. Um, although with a character... Although, you know, we've been looking forward to seeing this show based on what we've heard and what it was based on and, and the, the adaptation of that um, Matt Fractor uh, comic. Um, I kind of agree with the sentiment about certain things regarding Hawkeye. Num one of them being, you know, the, the what's it called? The track? The track? Tracksuit Mafia. The Tracksuit Mafia. Come on, man. You're gonna have, the Tracksuit Mafia has a is a dope name. <laughs> to make these guys, you know, like clowns, you know, goofy. Yeah, that, it just doesn't work, yo. I know, I understand, Marvel. You want to have fun, and you, but you gotta get a little bit more serious with some of these characters. And not all of these guys can be idiots and buffoons tripping over each other. If I want that, I'll go watch Three Stooges or Abbott and Costello and stuff like that. Not this. What were your thoughts on the first two episodes? So I liked it. I'm intrigued. There are characters being introduced. These are some of the things that I enjoy about um, anything Marvel puts out. But, um, yeah, what were your thoughts? So I liked it. I... I, I um... I went in looking for a few things and I felt like most of them were rewarded. So first off, I, I like your reaction to this. A little bit of a bait and switch by Marvel in this show. Obviously, Hawkeye is the titular character of the series, but this was very much a Kate, Kate Bishop, Bishop series yes. that Hawkeye yes. walked into the yes, way yes. it was introduced. Which, I, What did you think about that choice? Because I thought Haley Steinfeld actually did a really nice job. Maybe she was a little too wisecracky. You could, you could argue that piece of the we're back in Marvel hands, but I yeah. thought she actually was really good. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought she was good too, but I, now that you mentioned that part, I I do or well, did feel that this was Kate Bishop heavy and it reminds me of the whole Shang-Chi movie. You know, where Shang-Chi wasn't truly the star of this film and so far Hawkeye feels the same way. So that was the first thing was like when they did the first intro and you're seeing Kate's childhood. I will say, um, shouts to the staging of the New York attack from their oh, yeah. perspective. I oh, thought yeah. that was cool. We've yes, never yes, seen yes, yes, that yes. shot that way. I really liked that. Yes, that was yes. neat. Um, I think, like, I could tell Renner's having more fun. I actually feel like this is the kind of role that he does better with, where he's kind of a kind of an a hole. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. like he's yeah, yeah. he's still a hero and he's still a good dude and you can see that but he's kind of a jerk like yeah. as well and i think he he never really got to do that the hawkeye was such a straight man it was such a straight man in the in yeah. the marvel movie in the avengers movies that like we really didn't see a lot of range from him yeah i actually thought he, you could tell he was having fun but like i said he's sort of a tbd because he just didn't have a lot to do quite honestly in episodes yeah. one and two and it's like you know to make it through third of this season and he hasn't really picked up a bow yet like, yeah 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 kind of a flex by marvel to be like we can do this so he better be <laughs> shooting some arrows in the last, of course. last couple episodes you of know? course i like his character because if you've done the things that he's done and gone through the things that he's gone through you'd expect someone to be somewhat there or not there right that he's there with his kids, but sometimes he drifts, and because you know, I love things, the hearing. Aids, yes, 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 yes. Most people do. Most people do. Um, he's a regular guy, and and all the things that he's gone through, especially the explosion that happened at the end of Endgame, it must have affected him somehow, right? Especially if you're a regular dude. Um, and you're seeing the 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 end result of that, and emotionally, the physical things. Uh, I like how they've translated it into this based on what ha ha has happened in the past. Yeah, and you see the you see the fraction influence in the first two episodes where like they they show him get food with his kids. He calls his wife. It's like I'll you know, it's like I'm yeah, trying yeah. to get a flight home for Christmas. That that is the essence of the comic, right? It's like what does this dude do when he's 
yeah, 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 and yeah. you see that on display here. I thought the thought the like what were they called the the the, the role play fantasy people like that was a little much for me. Ah, yeah, but I got a it was a little long, but I got a laugh out of like the idea of an actual like martial arts fighting expert going mm-hmm. up against a crowd of these clowns like, <laughs> what it would actually be like and then he has to kind of you know yield but and again i thought that was a little bit much i would have traded that in for a little more serious action um but I, I but you have that, but you have to say you have to think about this i think it, it for a moment it offers him that escape of his real mm-hmm. reality and stuff okay. right so so i think that was done although probably a bit too long um, and I think Grills, he's a he's a he's a character in the comics. He's a dude. Also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, the whole thing was set up for that dynamic. Yeah, I think yeah. It, it does also underscore. Yeah, like there is this, you know, the Hawkeye Everyman, which is, you know, Steve Rogers can't walk down a street, right? Yeah. It's a celebrity, right? He's he's Michael Jordan. Everyone mobs him. Yeah, yeah. Like Jeremy Renner can walk down a street. Like he's been a part he's, of the biggest he's, team in the he's world. He's John Stockton. Like, yes. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> in the Dream Team, right? Walking through the rocket to Barcelona. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, yeah. and I think they wanted to kind of drive home that that point, which I was I was okay with. I did. There were a couple of the visuals where I could see the comic influence too. That fencing scene in particular, the way it was shot, and like the the, the close ups of the sword. I was like, oh, this is where I'm getting the the vibe of the like, hey, we're trying to shoot this to look like the pages of the comic, like scene by scene, yeah. page by page, what you would see if this was occurring. So. Uh, you know some nice touches there we'll see where it goes um and i like the fact that at least for now the stakes are small enough that it's believable yeah. that these two can kind of deal with it now yeah. we can talk about vera farmiga's character and the security company that she works for there's clearly some yeah larger universe implications going on in the background but like yeah. I was okay with this show basically being like, yeah, like I agree with you. Tracksuit Mafia, a little too much comic relief. I mean, the over under number of times you're going to say bro in this series is probably like a million. But I think part of it is designed to be like, look, they have to be guys that like these two can deal with. That like yeah. they don't, you're not sitting there being like, why did you pick up a phone and call Doc Strange? He's clearly in the New York Sanctum at some yeah, point, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. have to kind of avoid that. Yeah. Um, so, so I was generally okay with it. I was entertained. I was kind of happy with the setup. Um, and then obviously we haven't really gotten to the real villains yet. Just the tease at the end of Echo. So yes. I don't really, I mean, there's really nothing we can say yet about a local cop, but obviously we, we see her. Um, and then I got to give shouts to Lucky because Lucky is obviously a major <laughs> character in the show and they found a really cute golden retriever with the, I guess he has only one one working eye or one eye, but I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's makeup or the dog actually itself. I think it's CGI apparently. Eye. But uh, oh, is it okay? Yeah. But you know, incredible, incredibly uh, cute and, and fun to see. So I like that. What did you think of the villain set? Like the little setups and teases we got on these sort of the uh, what was it? Uh, Jack Duquesne and uh, you know Vera Farmiga's character. Well, for both of them, it sets up if they really committed a crime, right? Um, mm-hmm. If the mother killed the husband, if Duquesne killed his uncle, I believe his that was his yes, uncle. His uncle. Yeah. So, um, and these are and, and Duquesne is obviously a, a, a character in the comics, supposedly um, Hawkeye's mentor. Um, I don't know. I, I'm interested in seeing what happens there. Um, I'm I'm fairly um, curious to see where this goes in terms of what part did they play in the demise of certain characters and mm-hmm. and where does it lead to. Um, before we move, move on, I want to just sort of, uh, talk about this last piece people mostly have been, um, speculating on, and that is the Kingpin. Now, I don't want to turn, I don't want to turn his character into freaking, what's this guy's name? He's not going to be comic relief. If he, if no, he, if no, he no, no, not comic relief, but to turn into, um, Mephisto. <laughs> in that oh, okay. yeah I got you I got you know you. what I'm saying I don't want I don't want us to talk I don't want us to talk about constantly oh, I, I, pretty much everybody has started the conversation right I don't know where it will end but I don't want to turn it into 
the last episode he might pop. You know what I'm saying? It could be. <laughs> it could be. But let's see where it leads. Obviously, Echo is tied to Kingpin because she works for Kingpin in the comic books. Um, but I'll wait till further along in the series to determine whether or not we may possibly get a sighting. And, I, you know, that's where I'll leave it. It's set up pretty well for him to make his appearance at the end again. Mm-hmm. If he is just because, like, if you figure the tracksuit mafia, they're the they're the street level thugs. Yeah, Echo is like a boss, right? And then like yeah. Kingpin sits on top of of the organization. It all kind of it all kind of makes sense. Uh, do you think Jack Duquesne is actually bad? He, it, it was it was so blatantly set up that he was that it made me think like that's a that's a complete deke, and he's actually not really that and actually it made me think Vera Farmiga is the real villain yeah, yeah. of the couple yeah um based on what I've read he's not necessarily a bad guy but he's you know he's a character he has a certain a certain arrogance about him and you know he has things that he wants to achieve and the way he comes off is is you know is, is very arrogant and you think he may be up to no good but i like his character so far yeah i do too i just i mean the comics he was he was a mentor hawkeye fails to beat him as a youngster eventually it takes a long time he eventually does get the best of that's going to be a very interesting um encounter mm-hmm. let's see what happens there let's let's keep an eye on that uh, let us know in the comment section what you guys think about Hawkeye, the first two episodes so f- thus far. I would recommend checking it out. I, yes. I do think the timing probably did not help this show. I mean, they, it probably was a little bit of an experiment, but they went the day before Thanksgiving. And you yeah. kind of think it through, and you're sort of like, unless you got a whole household, an extended family of Marvel fans, I don't think you're necessarily yeah. sitting down to watch this exactly. on Thanksgiving. The that way, definitely you're gonna watch probably hurt. Are you going to watch Macy's Parade? Like, yeah. So the viewership for this is... 40% lower than the Loki premiere, but I wonder how much of that's the holiday versus the actual show, which I think is actually pretty good. So. Yeah, I think if they would have, I think they would have done themselves justice by releasing three episodes this week and then just to catch up, you know? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, let us know in the conversation below what you guys thought of this uh, first two episodes of Hawkeye. Next up, 